Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Friday, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world to New Zealand. And I think probably, uh, I mean, it's been a morning, uh, I'm talking about the, the Kavanaugh hearing, um, and we, we heard testimony from his accuser this morning, so it's dramatic stuff, I think... What really disturbed me the most is that they called her uh, de Blasey Ford, not Blasey Ford, as, as everybody was saying before this morning. So we've been mispronunciating her name the whole time. How is this allowed to go on? It's an outrage. Um, that's her there. Uh, I can't help... I'm not trying to trivialise things, but I just my my mind just starts ticking over sometimes, especially during the breaks. Uh, so that when they're in recess and you just get a picture of an empty room, basically, and these guys who were I don't know why they have to sit on the floor, but they do. We've talked about this before how the press just have to sit on the floor. They should build the, the purpose build the room a bit better. Anyway. Uh, but and everybody's left. But I just when you've got men in suits, so it's mostly men. There are quite a few women in suits as well. But it's been my experience that women. I don't know if this is sexist or not. Uh, I don't care either. Women smell nicer than men. And after somebody's been sitting, uh, her testimony went on for four hours. Uh, Kavanaugh's been in there a couple of times um, for a few hours. And I just feel like after a while, men in suits and in a confined space and aftershave and BO and sweat and... They say when they open the airplane door after a long haul flight, uh, the people inside the airplane don't notice it. But apparently the poor person on the other side of the door, when that is open, they just get this wave of the most horrendous humanity comes at them. It's eye-watering, apparently. I feel like that's probably what happens when you open the door to this room after a while. Oh, just one more one more little thing. Uh, on... Oh, was that a close-up of the room? That's not really helpful. One more little thing. I was just trying to see if you could see the smell. But I don't... I don't you can't really. Um, one, one more weird thing. And I wasn't the only one to notice this. Is... Uh, she came back, and there's a massive bottle of Coke. And it was there for ages, for hours. Free advertising at the most watched, perhaps, Senate hearing of the year. And I thought, I mean, I wouldn't have thought too much of it, except I've seen it before. There, there's Mike Pompeo in a completely different Senate hearing. Uh, he's on the, is that Diet Coke, Coke No Sugar... Coke Zero, it's not Coke Zero, vanilla Coke, Coke with lemon, it's not normal Coke, because it's, whatever the Coke that is, it's definitely Coke, I'm just saying that Coke's getting a lot of mileage out of Senate hearings. Let's move away from all that, and uh, we're just going to quickly cover off what uh, Trump you know, Donald Trump, the president of the free world, uh, he apparently has come out and said, hey, uh, you know all the laughing at the UN when I was doing my speech the other day? Don't worry. It's fine. They weren't um, laughing at me. They were laughing with me. This is him saying that. No, seriously. Seriously, trust my tiny little hand. Um, we were all in on it together. They were laughing with me. I'm just not sure, and when he says things like that, it sort of encapsulates everything you need to know about Donald Trump, because I'm pretty sure if you went round the room of all the people who laughed in the UN General Assembly at that moment, and asked them all, just personally, just off the record, were you laughing with him or at him, I'm pretty sure, uh, just as a little straw poll, they just go, at, at, at. At, 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 and at. I'm sure he thinks it was worth. But it was at. And it's probably just as well, because if he thought that it was at, 
he'd come away from there like an evil mastermind origin story in a superhero comic thinking to himself laugh at me will they and then just start pushing nuclear buttons so I'm glad that he thinks it's with but we know that it was at I am Glenn ZB thank you so much for having me at your virtual headset um, I will see you back here again on Monday for more Glenn ZB TV